What most excites me about augmented reality is the ability to bring things from the realm of the abstract into the realm of the concrete. Actually pulling things from the digital realm and bringing them in some way to perform to make them more real to us and obviously augmented reality is that tool. Instead of taking a user out of their environment, out of the real world to experience something, you bring a new and different kind of experience into their environment. It'll be nice to see kind of something that goes beyond kind of the base ARK, AR core. The thing that this detects the sky seems fascinating to me. It'll be interesting to see what we can do using that tech. It's a new space to explore and there's no real rules that anyone has to follow yet. It's kind of like a wild west of development in some ways. Our original inspiration was a Monument Valley. I feel like we were able to get a lot of mileage out of a really simple execution and a really simple aesthetic. Implementing the touch controls that everything has to have um, a sort of real strong haptic reaction to it. Everything you have to slide, turn, while you guide this little, little man, um, the golem, to enter into the planet and play the tune. So we had a pet simulator um, and our objective was to be able to make a multiplayer race. There's this thing called mock environments um, within the SDK. And then within that, these things called mock meshes. And these meshes are so cool, right? So you take your phone, you paint your entire environment and you take the file off of the phone and you can put it into Unity. And then you, like the room that you mapped shows up over there. And I just thought that was so awesome. So when we actually finally adopted that and actually like got it to work within our, our pipeline, our workflow, then, you know, the race came out exactly as we wanted it to. And then we played it on the phone and it showed up. So we ended up making something called interdimensional AR camera. I think like five minutes into the meeting, we were just like, yeah, let's, what are you aware? Like, yeah, we're in. We wanted it to be something that you could basically play wherever. And um, depending on where you play it, um, the games themselves would kind of adapt. How quickly the meshing was being done by Lightship is one insane. <laughs> we kind of cheated a little bit. The first mini game um, is specifically made um, to just like map out the area. That alone was kind of what like shaped everything around it. Basically, we were working on something that's kind of like an AR video chat. And the idea is that, um, you know, your friends could join video and you could see them in the space around you. Normally, we're putting you into the experience so that you can experience the virtual environment. But with this application, we wanted to actually take the virtual elements, in this case, you know, your, your friends joining you virtually, and bring them into your space. You, you can see where people are looking when you have three dimensions. You can hear somebody in front of you or behind you when you have three dimensions. There's a sense of closeness or even like personal space. So being able to pull that into augmented reality with the, the light chip is really cool because it just adds another dimension, gives you another way to experience this virtual interaction. That 3D mapping is very hard to do with conventional uh, augmented reality technologies. The SDK allows you to really, again, map that entire environment. And that whole racing feature that we made, we wouldn't have even thought about making for another six months or maybe even a year. But as you can see here, we were ambitious and the SDK was extremely full of features. So we were able to knock it out in a week. Like right now we kind of proved, yes, we can, we can take something, shove it into a phone. We want to expand what's in the phone um, to something more like what Niantic's been doing um, and expand it into the real world. Being able to try out a new space or take you know existing experience and apply it in a new way can be slow, can take a lot of time and a lot of extra learning. But having this tool set kind of right out of the bag just makes it a lot easier to iterate and get through that initial grind to get something that's actually enjoyable and plays like you'd expect it to. So I feel like making AR as a whole, like really accessible to people that might not have a coding background um, is just going to be like a huge game changer um, and will definitely allow people that might be intimidated by a process that might otherwise be really complex to give it a try.